Wildlife Diaries gives the viewers a glimpse of the various patients the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley works with on a regular basis. All staff and volunteers have undergone training to work with various animals. Please do not try to care for an injured wild animal yourself. Take it to your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Wildlife Diaries, Episode 3 The Orphaned Opossum A red-tailed hawk who was unable to fly was brought to the center. Hospital manager Ashley Kinney checks the hawk for areas of injury. Since the hawk is dehydrated, she administers replacement fluids intravenously because fluids administered intravenously are absorbed faster than those given orally. When an animal is injured or sick, the rate of fluid elimination in the body increases and the animal can quickly reach critical levels. And be ready because he's an escape artist. A couple of volunteers are administering medicines to the patients of the center. In this case, it's a severely injured morning dove with open wounds which were caused by a pet cat. The volunteer administers a broad-spectrum antibiotic orally and sprays the solution used to cleanse and moisturize wounds so they heal faster. All right, and Is that it? finished. Yes. Okay, so get ready behind me. I'm gonna, okay, he's wiggling. And I've got them way in the back, knees and clothes. Okay, all right. Great job. Baby opossums can become orphaned if the mother gets killed or if they fall from the mother's back and get separated. This opossum is the first baby opossum that the center receives for the new year. So we're tubing her an electrolyte solution to help hydrate her and process any food that a member of the public gave her that brought her in. Looks like she's doing pretty well. After feeding it some hydration solution, the staff does a quick checkup. The baby opossum is then put in the pouch to keep it warm and safe. This year's first batch of baby squirrels make their appearance. Over here, wildlife technician Beth French is stimulating these gentle babies to imitate how the mother squirrel would coax its young ones to urinate and defecate. In the wild, the mother gently licks the genital area of the baby until it relieves itself. At the center, the staff can achieve the same effect using cotton balls and warm water. This helps keep the baby's bottoms clean and healthy. The babies are soon sent to home care where they will be fed every two hours using a special baby squirrel formula. The turkey vulture, which was brought to the center in the last episode, has now recovered and can be released back to the wild. While in captivity, the staff constantly monitor if the animal is responsive, active, and eating on its own before it can be released. Over here, the turkey vulture can be seen flying back to the wild. Visit us at WCSV.org to see how you can help us in protecting our wildlife. Donate to our cause, volunteer at our center, or simply share the word.